I saw a weakness in you on your latest podcast. You seem to overlook the fact that some infant children were raised in undisciplined environments with undisciplined parents. They grow up having modeled these undisciplined examples. I hate the fact that I have gross undisciplined behavior. Solving this is a major priority in my life. You have zero idea of what it of what this experience is like for me. You seem blind to this struggle like a father who would ignore their child's struggle and offer only the words man up. <clears throat> so th- this is a good question and I, I-, I see where uh, this guy's coming from for sure. And I know that it can be very, very frustrating to try and become disciplined. And I apologize that I haven't talked about the fact of, of what to do if you come from an undisciplined family or you have undisciplined parents. I haven't really talked about what to do in that situation, but there's a reason that I haven't talked about that before. And that is because you don't get discipline from your parents. You don't get discipline from your parents, from your grandparents, from your older brothers and sisters. You don't get discipline from an external source. You have to get it from you. That's what self-discipline is. You get it from yourself. You get it from you. So there's people from every possible background, from no parents to crazy parents to you know drug addicted parents to super squared away parents and everywhere in between on that spectrum that are completely disciplined people more disciplined than anyone I know. It doesn't come from your parents. You don't inherit it. And there's another piece here. It's called ownership, right? It's called ownership. And if, you're, if you wanna blame other people for the problem, and I say this all the time, if you don't take ownership of the problem, the problem's not gonna get solved. So if you blame your parents for not having raised you in a disciplined environment, you're not gonna solve that problem. You're looking at your parents saying, if you would have done a better job being more disciplined for me, I would be more disciplined now. Mm-hmm. So that means that means you can't do anything. The fact of the matter is it's wrong. You actually can do something. And it doesn't matter what, how your parents raised you and brought you up. You can have the discipline you need to decide to do it. So... As long as you're blaming other people. I mean, if if you blame me for not discussing it, you blame me for having zero idea what that experience is like, you blame your parents for not raising you this way, as long as you're blaming other people, as long as you're counting on other people to give you discipline, as long as you do that, you will not have it. So, again, I'm sorry, I should have made that, I should make that more clearly, and I'm trying to make it more clearly now, and and like my parents, my parents are, are good people. They had successful careers as as educators in public schools. And my mom eventually became, uh, went into school administration. My dad taught in high school for 30 something years and they were good hardworking people. And, uh, but I'll tell you, they were no, they were no extraordinary preachers of discipline. (laughs) And I'll tell you, I, I, in fact, I, I, never remember either one of them ever using the term or referring to discipline in any way. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, and actually both my parents worked. They both worked a lot. My dad was coaching sports and we're doing after school stuff. My mom, same thing. Like we were on our own a bunch. My parents were gone in the morning. We got ourselves to school. When we got home in the afternoon, they weren't home. Uh, You know, so it wasn't like they were setting up this rigid disciplined manner for me, right? And um, and you can see this with families, many, many different families. There's families that have kids that the parents are very disciplined and the kids are wild mm-hmm. and out of control. Sometimes they're problematically so, right? Kids that come from really good families but they get addicted to drugs, mm-hmm. lack of discipline. Kids that come from really good families but they, they spin out of control and, and go in the wrong direction. And there's also the opposite. Yeah. Which is, hey, the parents weren't around, or the parents were abusive, or the parents were drug addicts, and and all of a sudden the kid, the kid comes out of that and is squared away, is awesome, and we saw that all the time in the SEAL teams. 
And I've said that before on this program. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where your background is. It's what you decide to do. Yeah. Um, and I'll tell you another thing. It's not even from the military. Like the military requires discipline, obviously. But there's plenty of people in the military that don't have it, <laughs> mm. right? And and many poor many people lose their discipline when they leave the military because it's not being imposed on them anymore. Mm. So I mean, just go look around. Uh, I mean, being in the military does not make you a disciplined person. Being from a disciplined family does not make you a disciplined person. Being in a, a disciplined group does not make you a disciplined person. What makes you a disciplined per- person is choosing to be disciplined. So. Yeah, I, I and and also as far as telling people to man up, um, which you know when someone says, "How do I get up early every day?" I say, "Get up early every day." Yeah. How do I stop eating sugar? Stop eating sugar. If, if that's the definition of man up, but obviously it's not just men that need discipline in their life. I don't think I use that term, but what I do tell people is to get after it. That's what I tell people to get after it. I tell people to do the things that they know they're supposed to do, right? There's things that you know you're supposed to do as a human being, things that you know are gonna improve your life. Do those things. There's things that you know are gonna make you a worse person and make your life worse. Don't do those things. Don't do the things that are making you weaker. Start doing the things that are gonna make you stronger and smarter and faster and healthier and gonna make you a better human being. And I'll say the same thing to this guy. You want to be more disciplined? Get after it. That's it, man. Get up early. Do some kind of workout. Eat good foods. Clean your room. Make a list of things that you're supposed to do in your life. And then wake up in the morning and do those things that you put on the list. That's what discipline is. And no, it is not easy. But you're not going to get it from anyone else but you. And it's worth it. And it is the thing that is going to bring you freedom that's the key word right there when you said it's worth it you know what i think this is what i think i think like in an environment as like how he put it an undisciplined environment right Mm -hmm. or something like that where he grew up in an undisciplined environment Mm -hmm. i don't obviously that's a very vague expression right there, right, like right undisciplined environment yeah that could mean, mean that could mean a lot of different yeah, things. a lot of different things so a lot of times like when you're brought up in a certain environment basically you're kind of taught or or not taught like like the value of certain things so if you use like i don't know working out or whatever right mm-hmm. so i'm gonna use myself as, as an example my dad was an athlete um you know not a this superior athlete but he was you know he he knew like working out was a part of life and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And, you know, in elementary school, we're doing sports and stuff like that. You know, some people, they don't do that mm-hmm. at all. So <laughs> at, when they grow up into adulthood, they, some people straight up have never worked out before, never been in the gym. And, you know, so growing up, they they were never taught the value of what working out does for you. Mm-hmm. They're never taught. So they can't appreciate it. They just simply don't know the value. Mm-hmm. Sure. They see people with, you know. You know, they're in shape or they can do these things and they're very functional, whatever. They see that, of course, but they don't have that value. They don't feel that value. They, they just never learned it. So it, it can come off as like this thing for other people, you know, like, oh, that's what other people do kind of thing. So they don't understand the value. So back to the point in their mind, this weird, the connection is not made that it's worth it because they don't know the value of mm-hmm. it really. But if you do know the value of it, and then you can decide, okay, is this worth it? Is it worth it to wake up every day and, and quote unquote, get after it for this particular goal or th- this particular set of goals? So that's what it is. And I think, sure, the undisciplined environment can maybe provide that, but I think you're right. I think that once you're like, oh, yeah, that's worth it. Yeah. You know how people, they'll find reasons when it's worth it, even though they've never experienced like. You know, like a person who has a heart attack or something is like, and they have kids, mm. uh, young kids or something, they yeah. have a heart attack, maybe yeah. never worked out ever in their life. Yep. They have a heart attack. They almost died. They're like, guess what? I'm working out every single day. I'm a vegetarian now, yep. you know, like doing major, major changes that they've never even thought about making and they'll do it because they decided it's worth it and they'll be disciplined. They'll find that discipline real quick, no matter how they were trained mm-hmm. as, you know, their environment yep. when they're Because now up. they see that it's going to be 
worth, worth it. it. That's it. Yeah. And if if it's not worth it to you, and that I think is what you develop the value of working out. The value of but you develop you can develop that from anywhere. Uh, that's what I'm. Yeah. That's it, essentially you don't that's part of the necessarily develop that from. Any, any, you can develop that from, from anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. You can get it from your parents. You can get it from, yeah, exactly right. Exactly right. But the discipline itself, just like I said, that's going to come from you. Mm -hmm. Your parents can teach it, but guess who has to, it's still you. It's (laughs) still you. And you can go to the military to specifically learn discipline. When you leave. It's on you. Who's it? Yeah, exactly right. And just like I said, like, yeah, I know people who are done with the military and are glad they're done with that. Right. They're glad with this waking up early. They're, yeah, they're glad they, with, they, they that they're done with that. Fast forward six months, they're out of shape. They're not doing anything yeah. productive. It's, it's horrible to see. Yeah. Well, but it happens. It happens yeah. with the military. It happens with anything. It yeah. happens when kids get out of high school sports. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they don't, oh, I don't have to do that anymore. I don't have to listen to coach. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy talk. Don't listen to coach. Listen to yourself. Yourself, yeah. Determine whether or not it's worth it. And yeah. I'm telling you, you don't need to determine. I'm telling you it's worth it. Oh, yeah. I'm telling you it is worth yeah. it. And you know what? See, but, you actually know it's worth it. That's why you're asking this question. You, you know it's worth you it. Do. You know it's worth it to have discipline, but you think there's an easier way. Yeah. You think that it's something that p- people have. You think that when Jocko's alarm clock goes off, yeah. it's like, oh, just like my father taught me, I rise and I shine. You know, like, no. <laughs> I, I, it's like the pillow feels <laughs> soft and comfortable yeah. and the alarm clock is banging on my head and I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. But you know what? I know it's worth it to get up and get after it. I know it's worth it yeah. and you know it's worth it. Here's the thing though. We all know it's worth it. Here's a, in, in a way you're right, but like really though, really, I'm going to be op- open and honest with you. I don't think that, that people know it's worth it. I think they know it's worth it like the kind on paper. You know, uh, if okay. they have a multiple choice question, is it worth it? Yes or no? They'll be like, yes. Obviously, I know working out is worth it, but here's the thing. I don't, if you don't know, if you don't like, like having good credit, for example. So I never got taught like why really my mom said, yeah, you should have good credit. That's it. (laughs) That's the limit to my education on credit. Right. So of course I blow it because I get, you know, I fall for literally all the tricks. (laughs) It's self-inflicted and otherwise credit gets jammed up. So, so I don't know. I don't know the value. I don't know. I've never experienced the benefits of having good credit. I don't know the value of good credit. So it really didn't mean much to me. Mm-hmm. Really. My credit was like junk. And I didn't care until I got f- denied for something. Then I cared, you know. But just like if you're never into working out until you're in a specific situation Again, where but, it shows. But, but, but like this guy that's asking this question, and I'm glad he's asking the question. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to come off all hard. Um. But he realizes, he realizes the value of discipline because he's saying that he wants it, right? Yeah. He knows that it's going to make his life better. Yeah. And, and and that's why I think he, he's gotten jammed up yeah. in whatever way. We don't know because I don't know him. Maybe he's gotten unhealthy. Maybe he's, you know, who knows? Maybe yeah. he's gotten his finances jammed up. Mm-hmm. What, whatever the case may be, he knows that discipline is better for them. him. He knows that. He does know. This isn't a guy that doesn't know yet. Because sure, there's people that don't. You know, when you're 16 years old, you don't know the value of discipline. You don't know that the, what you're, the way you're acting right now is going to affect you in five years. You don't know that you can set yourself your whole life up to be pretty awesome. Yeah. You don't know that yet. You're just like worried about where you're going on a Friday night. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. So this guy knows. And he wants it. And he's looking for where he can find it. And where he can find it is in the mirror yeah that's where it is yeah so do it brother good luck get on the path and stay on the path yeah and that's gonna be beneficial when you do the I, I st- I'm st- harshly maintaining that like not knowing the value is a big is a big thing it's kind of like okay so back to my credit thing I it, there is a point at the end where okay so um, you know like I don't know 10 years ago or whatever I, I repaired my credit I, my credit was repaired I fl- I went through it was painstaking mm-hmm. not fun stuff yep. but I did it got my credit repaired and now I know the value because as an adult I'm functioning it's useful now you know so now I know the value of having good credit because I've been through all the things that having good credit brings you through you know Now I'm thinking I'll never go back to bad credit. Right. Never. It's worth it every single day. I'm telling you that that I agree with what you're saying. Yeah. I agree with what you're saying. I'm saying that this guy knows the value and that's why he wants it. Yeah. 
It's like when you re- realize that you got denied for something, and you're like, oh, va- oh, credit has value. I understand that now. Yeah, yeah. Something happened in his life where he said discipline has value. I know that now. Yeah. But you did credit repair. And, and what you said was, okay, I need to go out and repair my credit. You didn't say, hey, you know what? My mom didn't tell me about bad credit, and now I have bad credit. Yeah, yeah. So now, now what it's am I true. supposed to do? Yeah, yeah. You know who repaired your credit? Who repaired your credit? Well, it was a combination of my wife and I, but yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. But who repaired your we credit? We did it. Yeah, we did yes. that stuff. Yeah. You, you took responsibility I, yeah. for it and said, okay, I'm going to get my credit. You, you yeah. talked to your wife because she's smarter than you, yes. and she was like, hey, I will, I will help this. Yeah. But it was you that said, okay, I got to f- get this fixed, mm-hmm. and you got help. But you knew to reach out for help. But you're the one that ultimately is responsible for it. Yeah, you're right about that. Like I didn't like, I didn't blame my parents and then continue having bad credit. Right. You know. Right. And, uh, like you said, no. I gotta get value. This yeah. this thing has credit has value. I need to fix it. Yeah. And you fixed it. Yeah. Regardless of where it came from. Regardless. So what? what oh, you know. Oh, you don't know how to work out? Cool, then you go hire a personal trainer because you know it's gonna—it's the right thing to do. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Oh, you don't know how to repair your finances? Cool, go get a counselor that's gonna help you repair your finances. Oh, you're addicted to drugs or alcohol? Okay, I'm gonna go find a counselor or join a group so I can get through that thing. Yeah. No one's gonna hold your hand and bring you into the, any of those situations. You gotta do it yourself. You gotta have the discipline to make it happen.